Hi guys, I've got a request from Ichiko Sudo to show how the electrical components fit together on my little radio control trike. Um, I'm not a radio control expert by any means, but the components on here are very simple, so I will show you what I've done. First of all, the servo at the front. All I've done with that is put a couple of bits of bent paper clip attached to the steering. Just drilled a hole through the steering and that's our arms or push rods that go back to the servo. The servo is hot glued to the base here, so I'm not going to try and move that. The rest of it, I've just used sticky tape to hold in place and a bit of Velcro. So if I can cut through the sticky tape without damaging my wires, I should be able to get it all apart and show you quite easily. a bit. Might have a bit more space. Okay, on the back here we've got the radio control receiver. And that's the aerial that goes with it. That's pre-attached, so there's no connection involved there. The servo wires are on this plug here, which goes, in this case, into the bottom socket, which is channel 1 on the receiver. This particular receiver takes up to six channels, plus the battery at the top. So we'll take that wire out of the way. The next plug that we've got on there is actually going to channel 3, which in this case controls the motor. So we'll unplug that. So that's a bit of Velcro on the back of there. So that's our receiver on its own. Then, what's the next easiest bit? Battery, I should think. You wouldn't normally use sticky tape to hold it all together. I did this deliberately so I could take it apart easily. So this is my LiPo battery. Lithium polymer is what that stands for. And you can't quite read the writing on there now, so... I think it actually says 240 milliamp hours. I think that might say 25C, not quite sure. I'm guessing a bit there because I can't read the writing clearly. Anyway, this particular one comes with its own connector. And because I wanted to plug it into this, which I'll explain in a minute, I rigged up a little conversion from the right socket for that plug to the right plug for that socket. So that's a little bit of wiring I did myself. Had to buy the leads and connect them together, solder them together. So that's mine. That's the LiPo battery. So next on here is the ESC, which I think stands for Electric Speed Controller. This one is a 5A. You'll have to look up the details to find out what that means. And it's for a brushed motor. 
which is what that motor is. Most of the normal motors you find in things like electric toothbrushes and that sort of thing will be brushed motors. Whereas the type of motors you find on model aeroplanes tend to be brushless. So there's different types of speed controllers depending on whether you want a brushed one or a brushless one. This one quite clearly states motor at that end and plus and minus so you know which end goes to the motor. And the other end has the lead that goes to your radio control receiver and the lead that goes to the battery. And as I say, this one has this type of plug on it, or socket, so I had to make up a lead to connect it through to the motor, uh, to the battery. Now this particular electric speed controller also allows you to plug into this receiver and it does away with having a separate battery connected at the top because you're actually feeding the receiver from this battery. I hope this is making some sort of sense. As I say, I'm not an expert on radio control, but that saves you a battery. You just need one battery to power the motor and it will also power the receiver. So I think that's all the electrics covered. So if we push this back together, the three wires, they're different colours on different um, servos and ESCs. They're not always, as these are, yellow, orange and brown. They're probably red, black and white. But in this case, the black one is the negative one which goes on the right hand side. And then the same with the one, the ESC one, but that goes on channel 3 in this case. You saw a little flash of light there to let you know that it's plugged in. And if I get my receiver, uh, sorry, transmitter, and switch that on. be able to hear the motor. And then the servo. And that's probably about as simple a circuit as you can get. Receiver, aerial, servo for the steering, ESC as they're called, electric speed controller for the motor and the battery. One, two, three, four components plus the transmitter. I hope that helps. Just one final point before I forget it. I had a comment from Saif Khan that I'd be better off using an ESC that gives you forwards and backwards, or two-way as they're called, which is obviously right, because on this setup I could only drive forwards, I couldn't go backwards, which was a problem trying to do the steering. And you can get ESCs that do forwards and backwards. The reason I'm not using one is because I don't have one, and this was originally intended for an aeroplane. And you don't normally have aeroplanes going backwards, so they tend to be forwards only. But for a boat, or a car, or a tank, or anything like that, you probably want one that does forwards and reverse. So, they are available. I'll probably put a link in the video description, because I'll put a link to where I bought these on eBay. They'll all be well out of date, but it'll give you an idea of where to look. And I'll put in a link that Safe Khan sent me for the two-way motor speed controller. So hope that helps too.